K218b, a distant world orbiting a dim red dwarf star, the James Webb Space Telescope has detected signs in its atmosphere that could change everything we know about the universe, like water, vapor, and organic molecule. This finding could change how we think about the universe and the possibility of life beyond Earth. Methane, carbon dioxide, and even signs of life-related chemicals have been found in the atmosphere of K218b. These hints suggest that there might be some kind of biological activity on this distant exoplanet. Could this distant exoplanet be a potential home for aliens? Or is it just another false hope in the ongoing search for life in the universe? Let's explore the mystery of K218b by looking at the clues in its atmosphere and thinking about how these might affect the chance of life existing on this exoplanet. K218b, a sub-Neptune exoplanet 120 light-years away, in the Leo constellation. It orbits a dwarf star within its habitable zone K218 could have conditions that might allow liquid water to exist. Astronomers have been interested in this planet for a while because it could support life. K2b is approximately two times the size and 8.6 times the mass of Earth. Its atmosphere is a key feature with a thick layer of gases, including hydrogen and possibly water vapor, methane or carbon dioxide. K218b is a key place to look for life beyond our solar system because it has a special atmosphere and is in a habitable zone from its star. Most recent data from the James Webb Space Telescope shows the presence of methane and carbon dioxide in K218's atmosphere. These gases might be linked to biological processes like those on Earth. This discovery has excited scientists and sparked various discussions about whether these gases could be signs of life or other important atmospheric events. But does this mean K218b could support life as we know it? Or is it a different type of planet which challenges our understanding of what makes a planet habitable? K218b has a thick atmosphere full of hydrogen and water vapor. This environment is not what is suitable for life, so researchers are rethinking what makes a world habitable. In the next few minutes, we'll take a closer look at these exciting discoveries about K218. We will explore what they mean for the future of exoplanet atmospheres and how they might change the way we search for life beyond Earth. Let's learn about the James Webb Space Telescope one of the largest ever built, launched on December 25, 2021. It uses advanced tools to capture light from distant planets that take years to reach. One key tool is the near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph RIRIS, which detects faint light from these distant worlds. When k 2 Seam B passes in front of its star, some of its starlight passes through the planet's atmosphere and reaches us. This starlight carries the chemical fingerprint of the gases present in the atmosphere. Webb's advanced instruments can break this light into its wavelengths, a process called spectroscopy. By studying these wavelengths, scientists can detect the presence of certain molecules, such as methane and carbon dioxide, that can provide clues about Earth's environment and the possibility of supporting life. Methane and carbon dioxide are especially interesting because on Earth, these molecules are usually connected to biological processes, like those from living things. Their presence in K218b's atmosphere suggests that there might be some other chemical processes, or even signs of life taking place on this distant planet. It sparks fascinating questions about what might be occurring on this alien planet. This data also suggests that K218 might have a deep ocean beneath its thick hydrogen-helium atmosphere. Scientists have started calling it a Hyson world, a new type of exoplanet that might support life in very different conditions from Earth. While life on Earth grows in oxygen-rich environments, 
Life on Hyseum worlds could live in deep oceans, under thick atmospheres. But what does this really mean? Are we seeing signs of life or just the complex chemistry of an alien world? Right now, it's too early to say for sure. The new data is quite interesting, but much more research would be needed to figure out exactly what is going on in Kido 18b. Is it life or just intriguing chemistry? Who knows? The answer is still out there. Scientists have coined the term Hyson worlds to describe planets like K218b, with significant oceans under thick, hydrogen-rich atmospheres. On Earth, life thrives in our oceans, including in extreme environments like deep sea vents and freezing polar waters. If the same conditions exist on K218b, there might be life forms adapted to this alien environment. Picture an ocean below a thick layer of gases, where microbes or even more complex organisms might live. But let's not jump to conclusions too quickly. The presence of methane and carbon dioxide doesn't prove life. These molecules could also come from geological processes like volcanic activity or chemical reactions inside the planet without involving life. More research is needed to find out if these gases indicate life or just natural process. However, there's one more fascinating clue. The possible detection of dimethyl sulfide or DMs, a molecule that, on Earth, is mostly produced by living organisms. If this detection is confirmed, it could be groundbreaking. Finding DMs could strongly suggest life on K218 and greatly change our understanding of the planet's potential for supporting life. So, what do you believe you studied? Are we on the verge of exploring extraterrestrial existence? Or are we simply seeing the interesting chemistry of the planet, with clues like methane, carbon dioxide, and probably dimethyl sulfide? We're at an exciting turning point. Now, let's get into the discussion. Could Kito 18b really support life? Or is this just hope? The debate continues as we get more details and improve our knowledge. On one side, we have the exciting presence of methane, carbon dioxide, and probably dimethyl sulfide, which might suggest biological activity. These findings have excited astrobiologists who debate that life might exist in the deep oceans below K218b's thick atmosphere. They argue that if these conditions are just like severe environments on Earth, in which existence thrives, K2A team might also support life. After all, life on Earth has been found in the most extreme environments, from deep sea vents to icy polar regions. If life can adapt to such harsh situations here, why could not it exist on K218b? This makes the idea of life on this distant planet seem more possible. But the skeptics raise valid issues. K218b is a huge planet with a potentially crushing atmosphere. The high pressures and temperatures could make it too harsh for life to continue to exist, even in the presence of water. These harsh conditions might make the planet uninhabitable despite the interesting chemical clue. Furthermore, there are geological methods that could explain the presence of these molecules while not having life. Volcanic activity, chemical reactions, or interactions with the planet star could all create similar signs. These natural processes might produce the same chemical signs we see, making it hard to tell if life is really present. So, what do you think? Is K218 be a possible haven for life, or just another interesting but lifeless planet? Share your thoughts in the comments, and let's get the debate going. So, what comes next in our quest to understand K218b and its potential for life? The discovery of methane and carbon dioxide is just the beginning. The James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled to perform more certain observations of K218b in the coming months. These studies will confirm the presence of dimethyl sulfide and analyze the planet's atmosphere more closely. This will help scientists better understand the planet's potential for supporting life. 
But it's not just the Webb telescope. Other upcoming missions, just like the European Space Agency's Ariel, may even discover exoplanet atmospheres in greater detail. Ariel is designed to study the chemical structure of exoplanet atmospheres to support Webb's observations. Together, these missions should help us discover clear answers about the potential for life on planets like K218. Whether this planet is unique or the first of many similar discoveries, it's clear we're entering a new era in our search for life beyond Earth. Advances in technology and space missions are giving us new ways to explore distant planets and uncover their secrets. Discoveries like K218b remind us of how much we need to study. Whether this distant planet has life or not, it shows that we're simply beginning to scratch the surface of what's out there. Each discovery expands our understanding and grows our interest in the universe. Stay updated on the latest space discoveries by hitting that subscribe button. Share your thoughts in the comments. Is K2b our first sign of life beyond Earth, or just a fascinating mystery?